And then, of course, the very big thing I've seen lately is to really slice the conversation into small pieces because people are in a hurry and, mm. you know, they're not listening to those big, big, uh, you know, podcast shows and the content is great, but they just don't have the time. So what would you suggest to the listeners? How do you do it? Do you cut it? Oh, in that's, that's the golden nugget. And that's, that's the secret sauce. I can share a little bit about our process. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we, we take a episode that you have and whether it's 20 to 60 minutes long, mm-hmm. And that's the first step of the host of the show. And that's the first step of the host of the show. We just need that piece of content. And then we have an entire team that we work with from video engineers to -hmm. content managers, copywriters. It takes a team. If you have a team, then you can do it. Mm-hmm. It takes about 20 to 30 hours an episode to sure. do it correctly. So, sure. and what I mean correctly is getting to the top of the charts, those big numbers. Yeah. And so what it looks like is you break down that one episode to three pillars. I see. It's a YouTube channel, yep. your podcast channel, mm-hmm. and then your blog post that's yep. running email campaigns. And so the show notes of like your interview, like we're talking right now, a copywriter will yes. write everything out in words. And then we clip that and put it into a blog and we run email campaigns, both for the host and for the guest. Mm-hmm. And so we're hitting maybe the older generation that likes to read blogs, mm-hmm. the younger generation that wants to watch YouTube and see video. Mm-hmm. And then for the busy person, that's just like, I got to drive to work. I can put some earbuds in and listen to my podcast that I like as I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. Those all three pillars are hit, Mm -hmm. but most people stop there. Like you, it's a great way to showcase what you have, but you got to drive listenership to those three places. Right. So that's the beauty of social media. And so we take those three pillars and we break it into what's called micro content Mm -hmm. which is quote cards Mm -hmm. audiograms closed caption videos they're just little pieces little trailers little like pieces of hey here's what we're going to be talking about today it's Mm -hmm. um, a brand template it has what you want to focus on and your mission your values and that's just in front of viewers all the time and we post on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, um, all the social media channels over a period of time every month for every episode. So now that is the ridiculously visible. Yeah. So people are driven to your content. Wonderful. So is there any like study done where should the podcast for the, if we are having one podcast a week, is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday, is morning or afternoon or evening, when to launch it so that a lot more people grab it? <laughs> and yeah, it no, that's a great question. And we usually meet with the client one-on-one and we ask, what is your values first? And what is your mission? What's, what's the message you're trying to get across? Mm-hmm. And really, what's the legacy you're trying to build? Mm-hmm. Like, are you just trying to get more income from your show or do you want to benefit people at a higher level? Yeah. If you can benefit people at a higher level, you're going to get more business guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to days of the week and times, it, two things, it depends on your niche. I see what you're talking about on your show. And so we deep dive into your vision, your values, your legacy. And then we work with um, our statistical measures of Shows that are under that same niche, this is mostly when they're posting. A lot of people will post on like a Thursday or a Friday to give their listeners the weekend to listen to. Mm -hmm. Some people like early morning before work on a Monday because most of their listenerships Mm -hmm. are commuting to work or right before. So it depends on which category we're working with. So it's all over the board. Monday through Monday through. Sunday. <laughs> yeah, Monday through Sunday, seven days, you know, Yeah, <laughs> 24 hours. I mean, there are millennials who are up late 
two o'clock in the morning, right? You know, <laughs> <laughs> and automation is key. Once you have the frameworks and you have the brand and you have the content, mm-hmm. you want to pick the pieces that come together in the right way. And then you automate that. Sure. You have it go live on certain days and then you resurface your social media content to match up Mm -hmm. with that. Because as we know, someone posts something on Facebook or Twitter, it's gone in 15 minutes Yeah, as of so many other posts. So many. So we resurface that and someone goes, well, I just resurfaced that three days ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole brand new audience, audience. That never saw it totally, totally uh, yeah you're so right about it i mean somebody who just saw that i don't know how many people but you're right if we repurpose it again it'll be fresh new for many many more people right? yeah. yeah yeah so uh, there are applications right i know i've heard about app sumo and there are some other apps where you can just schedule it right for yeah. one month and all these pieces come out then you know and it goes to every different social media i know i use restream on fridays which is connected to 14 different channels i think live which we do vinny and bo show and i'm thinking because i interviewed a really gen- great great personality ken walsh uh, yeah you know, and uh, also I'm having Mark Victor Hansen coming on my show soon. I heard uh, Proctor also, you know, so it's going to be exciting. But I, what I picked up from them was that you got to go live. Yeah. I think the algorithms <laughs> are much more favorable. I'm learning it, brother. <laughs> yeah. Um, and not only live, but a lot of people... To be honest, Vinny, a lot of people are scared to share their content or say like, I don't know if I can be in front of the camera or mm-hmm. even voice. It, it is. There, there's that kind of like hindrance to get over at first. Mm-hmm. But as you all know, the more you talk about what you're passionate about, yeah. it just becomes easier. Yes. And you don't have to have a really interesting niche to yeah. be in. Mm-hmm. So for an example, here, here's an example we worked with. Um, a guy the other week, he's in the finance world. He does insurance adjusting and he really goes um, after companies that will deny claims and he helps his clients. Hi, you are listening to syndication made easy podcast. We will be right back after this short break. Hi, thank you so much. This is Vinny Chopra and thank you for subscribing to my podcast and uh, YouTube channel and Facebook pages and all the great things and LinkedIn connect with me. I come live to you every Friday at 9.30 Pacific with Vinny and Bo show. Please also look at that and also the podcast, which is my uh, apartment syndication made easy. The book I wrote to a couple of years back became international top seller uh, on Amazon International now. And then we like to bring great guests for you every week or a, twice a week sometime to give you a lot of great knowledge. So please subscribe. You give us five-star reviews on the iTunes. The better the guests we can you know, bring and our ranking will go higher also. Thanks again for uh, following us and really getting the most out of it please comment like share because we would love to bring better and better material for you and he helps his clients get the retribution they need and not actually have a denial on their insurance claims Mm -hmm. and and he's created a podcast and he calls it denial of the day like and it's just a funny thing of one of his examples is a duplex, right? You, it's the same address, two units. One person lives inside A, one person lives inside B. Mm-hmm. A tree fell on the house. Mm-hmm. And the assurance agency said, oh, we're not going to cover it because of it was an act of God. And for that side of the house, but the other side of the house said, no, we are going to cover it, but it was the same building. And so it was just this like runaround of a really funny denial. And he mm-hmm. just shared denial of the day 
And he talks about these ridiculous denials Mm. and it hooks people. It's just different. How do you make something, whether your business or you don't normally do podcasts, how do you make it interesting? I see. And your listeners grow. And now he gets to share his service and pitch what he does Mm -hmm. from a podcast, just sharing funny stories. Awesome. Awesome. No, I'm so glad you're sharing all these techniques. I know somebody very close to me, my my wife's nephew, he's just grown like this way. He's Sean Puri. Sean okay. Puri, S-H-A-A-N Puri in the venture capitalism world from San Francisco. My first million, I think it's called, you know, show and HubSpot took it now, Sam and Sean, they do it together. But I think they have reached millions, I think, within, you know, years, maybe two years, maybe something like that. Great. But uh, it's exciting to see how having this special niche and with some making it fun, making it fun, yeah. making it unique can get you higher and higher into, you know, into the eyes of uh, audience. Yeah. 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 No, that's really good. My Mm -hmm. biggest tip that I tell people, because to be honest, I didn't come from a podcasting background. Uh, I didn't come from a business background. I came from the medical field. Oh, 12, 12 years as emergency medical technician. I'm used to talking with patients that are on the verge of extreme illness or death Mm -hmm. and quickly analyzing, seeing what's wrong with their body, working with a team yeah. to help them survive. Right. Uh-huh. And I came into business with Josh's team, like, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's how can I benefit and help people? Like yeah. if you have a mindset of helping That's people yep. and not making a sale or trying to grow your business in a way for the wrong motives, if your goal yeah. is to help people succeed, it will come back on you. And how do you do that? You surround yourself with mentors and leaders who are doing what you want to do, yeah. right? You're just in the presence of people that have gone before you yeah. learning from their steps. And um, that's what we're doing with podcasting. We were building out a pantheon of industry leaders to invite people in. So whether you've started a podcast, whether you've never started a podcast, yeah. or whether your podcast is excellent, you just want to scale it up. Yes, we, we invite you to the Pantheon to where we're growing and learning from the top podcasters in the industry. Love it. Love it. Love it. So how can people reach you? And are there like different packages you offer them? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can we, you share? Yeah, I would. Absolutely. Mind. We, sh- we start with a very basic of, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I want to monetize my show and I have a passion to help people. Uh-huh. Um, and whether you're there or you're, I'm ready to take my 5 million business and go to 10 million. I just need to get my content out further. Mm -hmm. We have those pathways as well. So we, it's the whole spectrum and you can find us at the lucky titan.com. The lucky titan.com. Yeah. And then this uh, Pantheon course, which I'm talking about is lucky titan.com forward slash Pantheon. Pantheon. Excellent. Excellent. No, I'm so glad you joined, you know, really appreciate that Kyle. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully our audience, you know, Hey, check it out. Please go, you know, to that. We'll put it in the show notes also. And uh, again, thanks for, you know, spending time with me today. Uh, Absolutely. And if you want to hear another voice besides mine, that the man behind the curtain is Josh Tapp, and he has the Lucky Titan Josh. podcast. Yes, yes, Josh yeah. Titan. You know, no, and he will. Uh, he'll show you how to build business and give you tips for entrepreneurship. He interviews uh, top inter- entrepreneurs in the world right now. So the top one thousand is our goal oh, wow. to interview. So oh, if you're looking goodness. for business strategies, hit up that podcast, and uh, you'll you'll benefit. Oh, that's awesome! Awesome. Thanks again, Kyle. Thank you for coming on the show. And God bless you. And we'll talk to you again. Okay, sounds awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. 